Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Beyond the Mat. I am your yoga instructor, J. Cole Yoga. Come to all of my yoga classes. You will have fun and have an existential experience. Today, we're going to tackle a little question that has been on the internet a little bit lately. And it is an age-old question come to rest, finally, by me putting this down. I'm gonna make some sense of this in the washroom. What do you do with the toilet seat? Men constantly being told, put the toilet seat down, put the toilet seat down, put the toilet seat down. And we never do it. We always leave it up. And some woman goes in there and sits on that gross, icy cold, slimy, pube-infested porcelain rim. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So gross. I would not want any of that touching my bottom side. Um, so, how about this? I've come to a conclusion that all men, when you're done, make, make a pact with your, with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your spouse, mother, sister, whoever the person is that's that wants this to happen. Men, you will always put the seat down. Women, you will always put the seat up for the men. That is fair and even all across the board. My second option is that, and this is what I do all the time because, and I'll explain why, is for the men to sit down. There's no reason why a man can't sit down on a toilet. Like there's nothing unmanly about it. You sit down to take a shit every day. Why can't you sit down to take a piss? And you're in the bathroom alone, so it's not like uh, there's like you're losing manly bro points for sitting down because you're here alone. Nobody's in here judging you and watching you. You can at any point, even if you're going into a washroom in a restaurant, you could just run in and sit in a stall real quick. And uh, now here's the reason for it. Um, for me, at nighttime, I hate coming in at night and turning the bright light on and it's just, oh God, I can't see what I'm doing. And then um, you go to pee in the toilet and it all, the light's blinding you and you can't see what's going on and your stream starts to go all out of control and it's going all over the floor everywhere, on the side and on this side, it's going all over your legs. I mean, we can completely avoid all of that and leave the light off and not have to deal with any of this shit and just come in quietly in the dark at night, sit down, have a little tinkle, eyes still closed, still in that dream state, you're going, you're gonna get up, and you're gonna go over the door, and you're gonna, yeah, the light has been off the whole time, and you're gonna go right back to bed, and you're gonna drift right back into that little dream zone that you were in before. Um, one more thing that we're gonna talk about since we're in this like weird uh, toilet talk today, is the catcher's mitt, toilet bowl splashback. Sometimes you are in a disgusting bathroom where things are just so gross and people say like, oh, um, yeah, just give it a flush and you don't have to worry about any toilet bowl splashback. Well, in some cases, the toilet, is, you're in a gross nightclub, you're in a gross restaurant, it doesn't matter how many times you flush that, you're worried about if something comes out of you and drops down, bloop, there's gonna be a splash of toilet bowl splashback up onto your butt. And for me, it somehow lands right on my butthole every time that splashback comes up. It never hits the cheek, it hits right the butthole. And I think that is so gross. Like, what grossness was housed inside that toilet bowl that is now like lingering around my little butt anus O-ring. I don't know what you call that thing, the butthole. So what I've done is come up with this Simple solution, and I'm gonna show you with Kleenex today because I'm actually all out of toilet paper, as you can see by the, the empty rolls everywhere. Um, so you come down, let's say you've flushed the toilet already. You've already flushed it, it's gone down, it's still kind of gross in there. Ugh. So what you do, and I always take four squares, four squares off the roll, and then you fold it at the two square mark and the other two square mark into like a V that crosses over a little bit and it makes this padding. And I'll show you with just a simple sheet of nose Kleenex today. So what you do is you come in and you lay that down like this 
And that is enough to catch any little plops from like falling in and making toilet bowl splashback happen. And I don't have anything right now that will weigh the right amount to drop in there, but maybe I'll do another video again someday. Anyways, that thing I call the catcher's mitt, it catches the poo or whatever you're dropping in there from, from under you and stops toilet bowl splashback from happening and saves your bottom. So ladies and gentlemen, folks, fans and freaks, everybody out there who enjoys these videos, <laughs> please like, subscribe, and if you're feeling super generous, please donate to the Patreon link and it will really help me out. Patreon is a way to donate a monthly donation of your choice, anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars to a hundred dollars if you're crazy. Um, so a dollar a month is only twelve dollars a year and it would really help this project I'm doing, uh, this life project, this instructional videos, I don't know what to call these. Um, this whole, it's new, it's just something new. You're contributing to the new. You're moving into the future. You're helping the world learn. You're helping creativity flourish. You're helping art develop. And you're helping me, your friend, J. Cole Yoga. Peace out, y'all. Bam. Oh, no.